Hey guys, welcome back. I just finished, that was real fast. I think I do my intros real fast. Like, hey guys, welcome back. Today, hey guys, welcome back. Today, <laughs> today, um, I just finished doing a mature makeup with a deep set eye video. Um, and I thought, well, since I already have the makeup on and it's kind of a blank canvas, if you will, let's have, let's do a second video and make a little bit more makeup video content. I'm not even stoned. <laughs> we are. I'm using the Morphe 24M Main Event Eyeshadow Palette. Bam. With Trixie Cosmetics Mod About You Blush Palette. Uh, and Runway Rogues um, new Work the Crowd lipstick. Uh, it's one of their bullet lipsticks in their um, 90s vibes collection. So it's these um, 90s inspired semi-matte colors that are just gorgeous. I use liquid lipsticks most of the time because they're super easy and they're super versatile. I have Runway Rogue's new Pearl Glam Soft Light on which is like their soft box, which is their most popular color. Um, it literally works from like 18 to 80 ages. Um, it's like that, except it just has a little, I would say a little bit more hint of flesh to it, which I love. I love some flesh. Um, but I am going to be using um, their two lip pencils from the classic line in Strut and Hot is Hot, uh, along with the Work the Crowd uh, 90s Vibes lip, Bullet Lipstick. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm using uh, my favorite eyeshadow brush. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush. I used this one brush for this entire eye that you see here. Um, I'll put a link upstairs for the video that I'm referencing. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with this look that we're doing today. Um, it should be pretty easy. All of the base work is already done. I just gotta figure out what I'm going to do. And I think what I'm gonna do is start with the color Tippy, which is this light green sort of color. And I wanna use that to just change the overall tone of the eyeshadow that I have on my eye. So, starting sort of like a base color and just using this to erase what I already have and create something else. Uh, then using the same brush again going into the color Somerset and I'm just going to sweep that into the center of the, the mobile part of the lid. Uh, again, same brush. Uh, let's do green fields. And then taking a uh, angle brush, going into secret gig. I didn't really seem to do much, did it? All right, let's do a darker color. Let's try this color, Wellies. A 
Adams blend. And then let's see. Next, let's take this um, wild orchid color, and I'm just gonna use my finger here and just kind of tap some color onto the outside edge there. This is like a glitter. And then using my deluxe crease brush just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And then still using fingers, I'm going in with Legends, which is a gold. And I'm just going to, again, use my finger inside corner and just sweep it on. Actually, I'm going to use my other finger for this side of the eye. Just a little, bring it up here. And then a deluxe crease brush just to clean up. And then let's dust this excess off here. Uh, I like that. And now we gotta go in underneath. This is the Real Techniques 005 eyeshadow brush. I don't use this one a whole lot, but I do want to use it today. Going into that color that I used in the crease, um, that really kind of didn't do much of anything, so I just covered it up with the glittery eyeshadows. <laughs> But I do want to use it to create a color underneath here for some shadow underneath here. And then, uh, let's see, where's my using a defining crease brush. I'm just gonna... Actually, let's sweep off this excess because I don't have any powder down since I already did my makeup. I'm just making a mess here. I'm gonna clean this up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's take. Uh, let's see. This is a Real Techniques base shadow brush and Free Spirit. Let's put a little bit of that here on the brow bone. All right. Uh, and then let's see, some bronzing powder with a Real Techniques um, Artist Powder Brush. I didn't do any contouring on this makeup because the nature of the makeup video. So I got to put some color back in to get that gnome structure back. And then using a Real Techniques blush brush, opening up the Mod About You blush palette from Trixie Cosmetics, starting with Go Go Girl. Use this to just really get some color on the cheek there. And 
I'm switching to the Real Techniques fan brush, going in with Plush Bunny. And this I'm just gonna sweep onto the apple of the cheek. And then uh, let's do the creamsicle highlighter. And for that, I'm using uh, the little Real Techniques highlighting sponge. Setting spray. Taking the large Real Techniques powder brush and just gently tapping that into the makeup. It helps to blend and blur. All right, so my eyes, I've already curled the lashes and, and have some mascara on for the look that I was doing, but now I do want to add some eyelashes. And I'm using the uh, Duo Eyelash Adhesive in Dark Tone. All right, so just a thin layer on the lashes. Give those a second to get a little tacky so that they're easier to apply. And then I like to apply my lashes with some tweezers, so got my handy dandy tweezers here. And you know what? I don't want to fight with those eyelashes. So what we're going to do, since I've already done the curling of my eyelashes, the curling of, I've done the curling of the eyelashes and the application of the mascara. Um, so that's what normally what I would do while I wait for the adhesive to dry down, but that's not happening today because I've already done it. So let's do the lips, starting with the Runway Rogue pencil in Strut. And then before I blend that out with a lip brush, going in with Hoked is Hot. And then work the crowd. Now for the lashes, these should be dry now, or at least tacky. Now that the lashes are on, I'm going to do a nice, healthy line of liquid eyeliner. I'm using a Milani Stay Put Matte 17-Hour Wear Liquid Liner. This is just some cheap liner I got from Target like two years ago that I just refound in my kit, so I'm just trying to use it up. Uh, let's see. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go grab some hair and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, here is the finished look for this makeup transformation using the Morphe 24M main event palette along with the Trixie Cosmetics 
mod about you palette. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those downstairs. As always, it is much appreciated if you could like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.